your first album as an artist, uh, what does it mean for you? Uh, well, like it came out a long time ago, to be honest with you, it's almost Christmas now, so I've been working on it for four years, but back then it kind of meant uh, a new journey, I suppose, and a new experience, and um, now it's kind of like something I've become accustomed to. Uh, well, I took four years off, you know, so that was a nice long time to rest, and, and I suppose the writing became a hobby then, in the four-year period that I was away, <clears throat> which is kind of important, really, because that's what it should be, you know, but sometimes you lose that perspective when... Uh, when you're on a major record label and you have contractual obligations, sometimes you feel a lot of pressure, but in the four years that I was away, I didn't have any contractual obligations, and I felt really thoroughly free, like I never really felt since I was a kid, you know. read that the songs uh, are inspired by personal experiences. Do you like to share your personal things with people? Does it make you to feel better? Whatever, I don't know. Not really. Like, I don't really want to go out and be everybody's psychologist or shrink, but I write music for me. And if people get kind of some kind of, um, I suppose, um, an escape through that music, or if they get a relief or a release, it's great, you know, it's a bonus. But I don't want to go out and discuss my personal life with anybody. It's personal to me, you know. When you write music, you know, you write it for yourself, but you don't really want to go out and say, I wrote that about my cat falling down the stairs or anything. You just want to write it for yourself to feel better. But sometimes it's personal, and you don't really want to talk about what exactly everything's about. And also, sometimes if you tell everybody what everything's about, you take the, you know, you take that kind of mystery out of it. So it's nice to leave some kind of mystery in it. So there you go. Um, I'm glad you like the song, but it's nice to leave a bit of mystery in it. Without the Cranberries as an artist, I'm me, like, without three boys behind me, but I do have a really good band playing for me at the moment, so um, they're brilliant. So it's not it's not really like being on stage, like, say, to a CD or something. It's pretty much the same as having a band behind you, because I have a band behind me. It's just that they're different people. Yeah, we were experimenting a lot more, and I think as well with um, the advances in technology, like with Pro Tools and stuff, you can, um, you can really experiment and try different things. Um, Unlike before, you kind of we used to go to rehearsal and just try and bash out everything and, and sort everything out there and then. But now, like we can, you know, well I can and one can and musicians can experiment a lot more, you know. So um, that's kind of what I try to do is experiment a bit. all this year I've been involved in music, what has made you more experienced? What have you learned? I think um, no matter what journey you take on life, any human being, we learn as we grow. What I've learned, a million and one things, what have you learned, what, is, what have you learned? Everybody learns as we go, you know, so it would be really hard for me to sit down in one sentence and say I've learned this, this or this. I've learned loads of things over the 20 years I've been a musician, like everybody does learn whether you're a doctor or you're a journalist or whatever you do, a milkman, a postman, we all learn, we're always like evolving and traveling. So um, life is all about learning. And having said that, you never really know everything. Even when you die, you still don't know everything. Are you interested to going on with your solo career or maybe the cranberries come back? Uh, I don't really know what's going to happen next year. I just try to take one day at a time. So, you know. There's no point in planning, you just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, or next year for that matter. Hi, I'm Dolores Reardon. I want to say hi to everybody who's watching Fly Music. <laughs>